You know, when I was a little kid, I actually had a raccoon skin cap. You know, it had the raccoon tail, and it had the fur, and it had the, like, silk liner on the inside. Um, I see on TV, like, cartoons and, you know, stuff. They, they always show the little kid having the raccoon skin cap. And, uh... And then I thought to myself, like, I wonder if that's common. So, if if you did or didn't have a raccoon skin cap, you know, put a little note down there. Let me know. Or if you think it's weird. Or if you think it's totally common and I'm just thinking it's special. Because I grew up in the South. <laughs> just watched uh, <clears throat> a 2003 Twilight Zone episode. And it was very disappointing. I generally like those shows, Tales from the Dark Side, all that business, Monsters. But this one was Eye of the Beholder, which, you know, the famous episode with the bandages on the woman's face. She's like, oh, I hope I'm not ugly. And I'm like, oh, cool, you know, I'll watch it and see what kind of new twist they put on it. They didn't put a new twist. They just made exactly the same episode. Pretty much exactly the same up to the end. That was disappointing. Uh, what wasn't disappointing was uh, G.I. Joe Retaliation. I just went and saw that because from my uh, review, writing reviews for the Campbell Express, um, Sally got us a deal at the Cinemark Theater, so I'm going to pick up tickets there and go see whatever I want there, and then it'll just be now showing at Cinemark. So I won't get to see the... the well, I still can if I sign up for the other screenings, but with this deal, I'm just going to be attending movies that are there. So no, like, pre-screenings at this place, but um, it's a nice, nice option to have. In fact, I just might exclusively go that route because I haven't had time for any screenings lately. Um, just been too much going on. <clears throat> uh, but first, today is the first day of our second... 2013 uh, cleansing diet, our quarterly diet. So today begins 14 days of just eating, you know, grains and uh, pasta maybe, you know, not too much, but uh, fresh fruits and vegetables. And that's pretty much it, you know, no, uh, no meats and dairy, uh, maybe some egg, because, you know, egg's good, and uh, I like this dish with rice, kale, and egg. And that's it. Uh, but we're mostly going to be eating fresh fruits and veggies and grains. So that'll be good. And it'll be good when it's over. <laughs> um, I'll be looking up some recipes, too. I definitely want to have, which I keep wanting to have on our diet, is uh, I want to do this thing with cauliflower steak, where you slice cauliflower, like a head of cauliflower, about that thick. And you bake it in the oven with some seasonings on it and different stuff. And then uh, you just eat it. And it sounds delicious. Um, I mean, it's a cauliflower, right? But I like the presentation of it as a big steak. And speaking of steak-like things, a big portobello mushroom, too. So those are two things I definitely want to eat on the diet this time. Today's the last day for submissions for the art show. Um... Got about 19 in hand that I know for sure that I've seen the work. Um, there's probably another 10 or 20 on my email that I haven't sifted through from people that I don't know. Um, so I got to take care of that tomorrow. I'm going to go through there, get a hold of the musicians, make sure we're still on schedule for that. Um, yeah, pretty excited. Yeah, and I told you we're moving. So we're looking at a new place. We're hope we're hope. damn truck. You hear that, bastards? That is Alicia's car alarm. Last time I just stopped. These jerk offs with their loud vehicles. It's so annoying. Um, I didn't feel like retaping the episode. Plus, it's better to just persevere. <laughs> um. Yeah, so Saturday, hope you guys are having a good day, H happy day, happy, happy day. So tomorrow is Sunday when I'm, I'll be making all the decisions on the art show, so I will talk to you then. Bye.